Right now, all eyes are still on the Omicron sub-variant known as BA2. Health experts are carefully monitoring an uptick in cases, including here in New England. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Todd Ellerin, Chief of Infectious Diseases at South Shore Health. Dr. Ellerin, thanks as always for being mm -hmm. here. So yeah, the CDC says BA2 is now causing more than half of new cases in the Northeast, including here in Massachusetts, and we've been watching it grow in percentage. So what are you watching, and should people really be concerned about another? The search. Erica, look, um, Europe has been a COVID bellwether for us, okay, and especially the UK. We can look to those countries to see what's the future going to be like in the US. And right now in the UK, it is surging with BA2, okay, so lots of cases. But here's the good news deaths are lower than they were with Omicron and with prior variants. So I do think we're going to see an increase in cases. Um, but my hopes are because we have better therapeutics, because we're more vaccinated and have been previously infected, I think deaths overall are going mm -hmm. to be low. But, and here's the but, we just have to make sure that our uh, frame of mind is appropriate for the situation. And, you know, the bottom line is as we see wastewater increasing, we expect to see more cases. So let's not sort of react when things get out of hand. Well, so I guess I just want to go back to that. So what do you mean our frame of mind is important? So are you saying that we shouldn't react to it the way we did a year ago because things have improved in what different I'm saying, ways? Maria, is what I'm saying, Maria, is sort of our, we have to make sure our mood isn't one of so much pandemic fatigue where we just think COVID is oh, over say, okay. and we're not going to do anything. Okay, okay. So New York City is is now looking at new ways to get more kids vaccinated as they see an increase in cases of COVID in schools. So in your opinion, do you think it's surprising um, that that vaccination argument is still being made two years into the pandemic? It's not surprising, Maria, because remember, if you look at the 5 to 12 age group, only a little over 25% of those kids are fully vaccinated in the United States. Now, New York is doing much better, those numbers in the 40 percentile or higher. But still, the, the, the majority of children in that age group have not been vaccinated. And there are even parents who are vaccine hesitant. Some of them may have vaccinated themselves but still haven't vaccinated their children. I think it's important to remember, take home message, the vaccines are working very well to prevent severe illness. So I urge parents of, of children who are unvaccinated to try to get them to roll up their sleeves and go to their pediatricians or go to a clinic or a pharmacy to get vaccinated. Well, Dr. Ellerin, we do have a question from a viewer. It's vaccine related. Claudia writes, I know that there is now discussion that certain populations or perhaps even everyone have a second booster. What is the potential downside of a second booster? Why not just have everyone get the additional shot as a protection wanes? It's such a great question, Claudia. And, and right now the FDA is actually looking at data to say whether or not they believe that certain Americans or all Americans will get that fourth booster or will, whether it will be recommended. But it's confusing because some of the data from Israel, it's it's not exactly like 100%. So remember, they looked at about 1,000 healthcare workers and uh, Certain adults were randomized either to get the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, or no extra booster, okay? And what they showed was that there was only about an 11 or 30% reduction in infection, whether you got Moderna or Pfizer, mm -hmm. and that was not statistically significant. That's a fancy way of saying that the vaccines didn't really work well to prevent infection in that healthier population. So it's unlikely that the FDA or CDC will recommend a fourth shot for everyone in the United States. It's already recommended for immunocompromised right. mm -hmm. populations. So the real question on the table, I think, is whether that 65 and older age group um, they will end up uh, giving a green light to. And that remains to be seen. They are looking at that data now. Dr. Todd Ellerin, South Shore Health, Chief of Infectious Diseases. Thank you so much, Dr. Be well. We yes, appreciate thank you. Thank you, Take Dr. Care,